can you come out and play? We can go outside, cause it's a beautiful day. So get yourself ready, come on, take a look. We're going inside of my big blue book. Hi, Hilly. Oh, hey, Hoofity Doopers. It's me, Hilly. I'm so excited. You wanna know why? I'm about to get all squeaky clean in my big bubble bath. I have my scrubber, my rubber ducky, my towel. I wonder what else I need. Oh, silly me, I have to run the water. Ah! I just saw the creepiest, crawliest, ickiest thing ever, spider! Oh, but I can't let it scare me. I won't be afraid. Is that what I saw? It wasn't a bird or a small chihuahua. It had lots of legs and I think it had claws. Should I run? No, I won't be afraid. It looked really hairy and really quite scary. It had lots of teeth and these huge giant jaws. Should I call the police? No, I won't. That's because you see, I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid, nothing's gonna scare me. I won't run away, I'll be brave, yes you'll see. If fear tries to win, I just won't let it in. I'll take a deep breath and I'll pick up my chin. Look at the problem and say with a grin, heck no, I won't be afraid. It looked really creepy, it creeped and it crawled, it was ugly and fuzzy and weird, but that's not all. I think I even saw it crawl right up the wall, but I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. Nothing's gonna scare me. I won't run away. I'll be brave. Yes, you'll see. If fear tries to win, I just won't let it in. I'll take a deep breath and I'll pick up my chin. Look at the problem and say with a grin, heck no, I won't be afraid. Well, I'll just have to be brave and practice patience. Mr. Spider has to leave eventually. I'll just wait here. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. Hey, Mr. Spider should be gone by now. Yay, Mr. Spider's gone. See, patience pays off. Now I can finally take my bath. It's on your head! What was that? I should go to bed. It's on your head! Needle and thread? It's on my head! It's on my head? It's on my head! It's on my head! So I won't be afraid, but I'm gonna need some whoopity doopity help for this one. What should I do? Big blue book! You're right. I need my big blue book. Oh, book! <gasps> Hi, big blue. How are you? My book is big, my book is blue, and there's a whole lot that it can do. You want to see? Yes! Neat! Well, first, let me introduce you to my friends who live inside. There's Chef Helga. She's a kooky, clumsy cook. There's Miss Tinsel. She's a terrific, trendy teacher. Oh, and I can't forget Alex the Adventurer. She's a zoomy, zealous zoologist. Who should I ask for help with the spider that's in my bathtub? Chef Helga, Miss Tinsel, or Alex the Adventurer? Alex the Adventurer! Alex the Adventurer? Great idea! She knows about all sorts of creatures, including spiders. What do you say we pay her a visit? Yay! Great! Well, first, we have to use our special phrase. Whoopity, dippity, blue, poof. Say it with me. Whoopity, doopity, blue. Whoa! We're in Jamboree Jungle. This is where Alex the Adventurer lives. Crikey, that's one big spider web. Must be the Cuckoo Yuzu spider. I better stay on my toes so nothing sneaks up behind me. Hey, it. Alex! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, 
know, Hilly? You shouldn't sneak up on people in Jamboree Jungle. Every creature God's ever created lives here. It's an amazing place, but it can be full of surprises. I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to scare you. I just have a big problem. The biggest, creepiest, crawliest spider is in my bathtub. What should I do? Did you say biggest, creepiest, crawliest? Oh no, Hilly. I hope you don't have a Goliath spider in your tub. A Goliath? Yeah, that's the world's largest spider. It can grow up to 11 inches wide. That's bigger than an adult person's hand. 11 inches wide? Bigger than an adult's hand? The spider in my bathtub wasn't that big. Not to worry, Hilly. Most spiders are much smaller. In fact, the smallest spider known to man is called the Patu Digua. It's about a fifth the size of the head of a pin. Wow, that's a pretty tiny insect. Actually, Hilly, spiders are commonly mistaken for insects. They actually belong to a group of animals known as arachnids. Let's sound it out. A rack nid. A rack. Yeah. Arachnids. Great job, Hilly. Insects usually have six legs and wings. Arachnids have eight legs and no wings. Arachnids can include spiders, scorpions, and mites. Well, do arachnids do anything other than sit in my bathtub and look scary? Of course, Hilly. They do a lot more. Spiders are actually helpful to humans. They eat pesky pests like mosquitoes, fruit flies, and roaches, which in turn helps to manage crops and keeps them out of our houses. Oh, wow. I guess that's pretty neat. Did you know that, whoopity doopers? Oh, Hilly, did you also know that some spiders have such large fangs that they can eat really big things? Really big things? Like what? Like snakes, birds, sometimes even humans? No! No, Hilly, I was going to say fish. They don't eat humans. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Now that I know all about spiders, what should I do with the one in my bathtub? Give it a fish? Well, an empty jaw and a firm sheet of paper can do the trick. Firm sheet of paper? You want me to write him a letter? <laughs> I would, but spider Spanish, arachnish, is hard to learn. So instead, you'll gently take the jaw, place it over the spider, and slide the piece of paper underneath. Then take it outside to release it into his natural habitat. That sounds a little scary. What if I make a mistake? Ah, uh, you'll be a-okay, Hilly. Just be brave. Thanks, Alex. I won't be afraid. Well, I guess if I'm ever gonna take my bath, I better get back and help Mr. Spider get home. Y'all do great, Hilly. Here's a jar and a foam sheet of paper for when you get back. Oh, and here's some jamboree juice. It'll help with the spider smell, but be careful. It attracts sharks. Wait, did you say sharks? I'm just kidding. Remember, Hilly, if you ever need help, I'm just one whoopity doopity blue poof away. Looks like the Kukuya Zoo spider's heading back to its web. I better go sneak a peek. Bye, whoopity doofus. You can help Hilly the rest of the way, right? See you next time in Jamboree Jungle. Bye! Bye, Alex! All right, whoopity doopers. What do you say we head back and help Mr. Spider get home? We have to use our special phrase first. You ready? Whoopity doopity Hola, señorita. ¿Cómo estás? I'm sorry, Mr. Spider. I don't speak spider Spanish, but I do have a jar and some paper to help you get home. Muchacha, that is the ideal form of sassy salsa spider transportation. I give you my gracias. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye, Mr. Salsa Spider. Gracias, señorita. Adios! <sighs> that wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. I'm so glad Alex taught me more about spiders. Now I don't have to be afraid. And I can take my bath. I made sure to use Alex's jamboree juice. Hopefully it helps and doesn't attract sharks. <laughs> what am I saying? There aren't any sharks in the bathtub.
BigBlueBookShow.com.